Hi, Chad with Concrete Floor Supply. And for this Whiteboard Wednesday, we want to talk to you about the concept of polishing concrete and what exactly that means. Um, polishing concrete is a mechanical process. And at the end of the day, what you're trying to do is getting a concrete surface to shine. And you do that mechanically. And how you do that is through the use of diamond tooling. So the easiest thing to polish is a smooth troweled floor. Um, but even on a microscopic level, that smooth troweled floor has pits and valleys in it. And what is happening is the light comes in like this and then it bounces off in all kinds of different directions. Hence it doesn't have any reflection. So what you want to try to do is to shave these mountains down flatter and flatter so when the light hits it, it bounces back up and you get a better reflection. That's kind of the long and short of it. Now, so how do you do that? Well, you do that through the use of diamond tooling and working through successive tooling. And I'm going to give you just the big picture right here. Um, so diamond tooling works in grids and the smaller the number, the larger the diamond particle, meaning the more aggressive it is. So let's talk about metals real quick. And then we'll talk about resins. So many times on a floor, people start with a metal to start polishing. Although that isn't true as much anymore because concrete finishing has improved greatly. Um, but for the purposes of this, we'll talk about it. So now these are all grits, 30, 70, and 120 metals. Um, so let's say you start with the heaviest grit metal you can. You start with a 30 and you make a couple passes, 70 metal and you make a couple passes, 120 metal and a couple passes. And then you move on to resins. So resins work the same way. The, the numbers get larger, 150, 200, 400, and 800. So what you do is you're typically doing two passes at, at, at all these until you get to 400 and then, you're, and then you can just do one. You're always going moving up the grit size and the numbers are never doing more than double. You can't skip from a 50 to a 200 because you'll leave that gap in that mountain, if that makes sense. You've got you've to keep shaving it off in a particular grit order and, and not skip or you lose that um, effect that you're going for. So that's the process of polishing concrete. Now, maybe for another Whiteboard Wednesday, what we'll do is talk about where to start polishing because what we try to do is try to educate people on how to be efficient and how to produce great floors and save money or make money or however that is. So we teach a lot of people when and where you can start in here, when and where you can start in here, and end up with pretty much the same effect, but that's for another Whiteboard Wednesday. Um, so that's the uh, basic premise behind polishing concrete with diamond tooling. Thank you.